Hi folks, greetings. This is Iqbal Singh Rana from Corporate Productivity Consulting. Some weeks back, I had put up a video which mentioned about what are the pro actions so as to make sure that your negotiation gives you desired results. Friends, as I had mentioned that time also, in B2B business, negotiation plays a much critical role. The reason being the ticket size being large. There are multiple stakeholders which need to be taken care of. And therefore, today I'll share with you five principles of execution of negotiation so as to make it very effective. Principle number one, friends, during the whole conversation of negotiation, you need to listen and observe much more than you talk. You need to ask the right probes and allow the customer to talk so that you know what is their position, what are the things they are looking for, what are the things they need out of you. And this will give you an idea which side the negotiation should go on. And if you talk a lot, then you may be exposing some of your weaknesses to the client and a wise client will like to take advantage of. Principle number two, very important that in the beginning of the negotiation, you need to bring out, you need to put on the table, the common softer issues. Those issues which are very comfortable for the customer and the customer looks forward to this agreement with you. Principle number three, in the beginning of any negotiation, when you are probing and listening, you need to elicit the agenda of the client in its whole, which means you need to know as to what are the terms conditions they have in mind. Some of these they may tell, some of these they may not tell until unless you elicit out of them, you bring it out of them by probing. And you need to also see what are the conditions out of this which are no compromise either from their side or from your side. Therefore, you know as to what does the scenario look like. And similarly, I'm sure that you also have a big list of your own terms and conditions and you have prioritized those. You know which are the most crucial for you on which you will not like to give in and which are the ones on which you can trade. Principle number four. Friends, it often happens that during negotiation, a customer wants a concession from you. A customer wants a certain term from you. And it's a low cost term for you. And there's a tendency to give away this type of a condition to the customer without bargaining for it. Friends, I will suggest keep this type of a term in your own mind. And you may later on bring it back when you want to trade it against some term which you want out of the customer. And therefore, the customer may feel that that term for them is low cost, but it is high value for you. And thereby, this type of a bargaining, this type of a trading, this type of exchange may happen very comfortably. And therefore, you need to keep this in mind. And the, uh, the principle number five is that you need to, at any point of negotiation, you need to take note of what are the buying signals coming from the other party particularly people who are senior, anytime they give a buying signal, anytime they respond to any of your statement through a buying signal, you need to catch it and you need to try to close the deal. However, when you are closing the deal, that time you need to be very sure that all terms, conditions as discussed, as agreed are put on the table and there's an agreement on these by the other party. Ideally, you should put it in writing also as soon as possible and get a signature on it. And if nothing else, you need to at least send a minutes of the meeting to all stakeholders and make sure that they have acknowledged it. This will make sure that there are no surprises later on. There are no disagreements later on, which will uh, later on jeopardize the whole agreement. Friends, these are the five uh, principles. And as I often say, it is not important whether you know these principles or not. You need to make sure that your team members are actually practicing it in their skills when they are doing negotiation. You may need services of an expert who may observe these people during negotiation or he listens to their recorded conversation and tells them as to which are the areas on which your team has to improve so that they get better results of, out of negotiation next time. Friends, that's for now. We'll come up with some other new videos soon. Thank you.